In this video, I'm gonna be answering two important questions. The first question I have is, does this new TPU from Bamboo Labs actually work with the AMS like they say it does online? And my second question is, is this a good filament option for making airless basketballs? Obviously, the first thing I had to do was make a model that was specific to this TPU filament. It was a pretty dense filament, so the lattices are pretty skinny. But once the model was ready, I just had to put it in the slicer and I had to assign the supports as PLA filament and the actual basketball as the TPU filament. Next, I made sure to put a layer of glue on my printer bed, not only for adhesion, but also as a release agent when it's done printing. And now that that was all done, all I had to do is send it over to my printer to actually print. I have to say I was a bit skeptical. After trying a lot of different flexible filaments in the AMS and having really bad results, I got lots of tangles and clogs and all sorts of issues, but this stuff printed in the AMS no problem. As you can see in this printing video, it printed the supports and the TPU all together just fine. Now that it was fully printed, it's time to see how easy those PLA supports detach from the TPU basketball. It was a bit difficult to get the removal of the PLA support started, but once I was able to wedge the flush cutters underneath the PLA supports and pry up, it started coming off in chunks, and I gotta say it was actually very satisfying to remove, and this last little bit I was able to remove all of it at the same time, and yeah, it was very satisfying. Now that the supports are off, we have our basketball ready to go, and usually I wait until the garage to do any sort of bounce testing, but I had to just give it a shot here in the 3D printing room, and that was kind of a bad idea because even within the first couple dribbles, I ended up hearing a bit of a crack. So I'm gonna take it out to the garage for bounce testing. But first I wanted to weigh it, and it ended up weighing about 596 grams. Next, I took it out to the garage for actual bounce testing, and the ball cracked on the very first bounce that I gave it in the garage. It's a big bummer when you spend multiple days printing one of these basketballs and it cracks on the very first couple of bounces. I wanted to compare the bounce for this TPU ball compared to a different TPU basketball that I printed a while back, and I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it does not bounce well, so I wanted to see how they compare to each other, but I think the TPU ball that I just printed was too compromised, and within a couple tries, it cracked right down the middle. I think it's fairly safe to say that this is not the greatest filament to print airless basketballs with. Well, there you have it. It looks like this new TPU from Bamboo Lab does actually work with the AMS, which is actually spectacular because this opens a lot of opportunities for people with Bamboo Lab printers who want to try different things with multiple materials, say different supports, or just combining two different materials together. But for question number two, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is not the greatest filament to make airless basketballs with. I do have a little bit of this TPU left over, and I was thinking about different options that it would possibly work well for, and the first thing that I thought of is that it might actually work well as a good single lattice airless soccer ball. The problem that I've had with these different filaments for airless soccer balls is that most of them are just way too squishy to actually make something that would perform well as a soccer ball. And with the hardness rating of 68D, this filament might actually be a decent option for a single lattice soccer ball. The other thought that I had for it was maybe using this stuff to make a pickleball or a airless tennis ball. I'm not sure which way to go yet, so let me know in the comments which one you would rather see. There are still more filaments to try for airless basketballs, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss those, and I will see you in the next one.